Tonight we're taking an in-depth look at a baby recently born on the side of the road. The Osawatomie parents raced to the hospital, but they didn't make it. The sheriff released this body cam video. And now for the first time, the family is opening up about the frightening moments on the side of the road delivering a baby in the dark. Here's investigative reporter Angie Rocono. What happened here highlights a growing concern across the nation. Moms driving a long distance to deliver their babies because there's no local maternity care. There's even a term for it, maternity deserts. You can learn a lot about a community from its local paper. On March 6th, 2024, the headline for the Miami County Republic read, I just delivered my baby. The sheriff posted about the roadside birth on Facebook, too. I just delivered my baby. From there, the story just grew. Everyone's like, yeah, congratulations, congratulations, but it was a scary situation. <sighs> we were terrified. It's hard to understand what it was like in a car alone in the dark until you listen to the 911 call. So we are northbound on 169 Highway. <laughs> Sir? Labor began at 3 in the morning. We have to go, like, now. I have no idea what you said, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, that's all right. Danielle and Riley race to Olathe Medical Center more than 30 miles away. We can get there. We can get there. It passed a smaller community hospital with no birthing unit. So we were in a dead spot where I... <laughs> I don't know what to do. Danielle realizes... She'll give birth in the car. Get the baby now! Catch him! Catch him! We're, we're, we're sending baby. help over there. Stay on the line. I'll tell you exactly what to do next. For I got him! Mind. I got him! The baby, okay, is it baby, baby now? Hi, baby! This emergency is just beginning. It will be more than 11 minutes before medical responders arrive. It's not breathing! Yeah, yeah. Okay, is he, he's having a hard time breathing. Listen to me, gently wipe the baby's mouth and nose and then vigorously dry the baby with a clean, dry towel for at least 30 seconds. A family on the side of the road with no towel, no blanket, no suction, and a baby struggling. He's struggling to breathe. His lips are purple. All right, I'm going to give you instructions on how to get mouth to mouth. Completely yeah. cover the baby's mouth and nose with your mouth. Then blow five puffs of air into the lungs about a half second each, just enough to make the chest rise with each breath. Go ahead and do that now. If you're impressed with how clear and calm the directions are. Okay, do it again. Yep. That's because this emergency birth scenario has played out three times in one month for this dispatch unit. Just enough to make the chest rise. Okay, did you feel the air go in and out? Yeah. Okay. He's crying now. She sounds so scared. Dr. Emily Matheson is Danielle's doctor. Instead of delivering Frankie, she met him in the hospital. Just to have someone tell you what to do over the phone, like, that's horrifying. How dangerous is something like this when you're delivering on the side of the road and you have no supplies and this was not the plan? Yeah. Um, I worry about, you know, a baby could get stuck um, and sometimes will require maneuvers to be able to get delivered. Um, sometimes moms will bleed heavily after delivery and that can require medications and other um, interventions. Dr. Matheson has patients who live 90 minutes away. They live in maternity deserts. And even if there's a community hospital, there's no birthing unit. We just knew he was blue. <laughs> Danielle is a nurse, but her specialty isn't labor and delivery. But then he was gurgling because he had all that amniotic fluid. His face was smashed. In the dark, Frankie's coloring was concerning. Turns out Frankie was bruised. That's because the delivery was so fast. It's just emotional because, you know, we're crying for help, hoping. Someone shows up to make sure everything's going to be okay. Sorry. There was no blanket and no towel when Frankie was born. His dad wrapped him in a chief's sweatshirt. Oh, goodness. Riley wore it the day we met Frankie. And then Frankie and his family took it on the newborn photo shoot. 
back to the highway where he was born. Quite a story down the road. Quite a lesson for now about moms in maternity deserts. 45% of all counties across Kansas are now considered maternity deserts. And Missouri isn't much better. 41% of all counties are considered maternity deserts. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.